Let's join Sketo about uh, who is having reactions uh, from this this win for the president elect. Oba, good uh, good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, things look they look orderly. What's what what is the temperature out there? Yes, we visited a lot of places here in Lagos this morning and uh, we saw a situation in town. A lot of people are waiting for, you know, the handing over or the issuance of the certificate of return to the president-elect before, you know, they kickstart the celebration in town. I mean, truly right now, that is the base of uh, the Speaker of the House of Representatives that's right, Honorable Femi Gwajabi Amila. And we have seen a lot of people, a lot of things to show us that indeed they are warming up for celebration later today. Don't forget that the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakub, announced earlier that the certificate of return will be issued to the president-elect, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, by 3 p.m. today. So a lot of people are waiting for that. As soon as that is done, I'm very sure from what I've seen, that the celebration will go into full throttle. But earlier on, on our way down here, that's somewhere in Ojo Elegba, we saw some people already celebrating, playing music and dancing, you know, with the bottles of beer, with bottles of beer in their hands, celebrating the victory of Bola Ahmed Tinobu. So many others are, you know, warming up for the big celebration later tonight. I've spoken with some people here. People are happy generally in Lagos, and you. I remember that for the past two days, people have been so reluctant in coming out fully. Shops have not been fully opened. Businesses have been affected in a way because people were waiting for the announcement of the final result by INEC. So that came earlier today and things are coming back to normal across Lagos as we speak. This is Shita. If you look behind me, you'll see um, public transport there. People are coming out. And Lagos is coming back to life after the two days of lull, you know, of people waiting for the announcement of the final results. Well, thank you so much, Oba. Now, of course, you touched on the fact that businesses seem to be, you know, coming back. I'm just wondering if you were able to have any discussions about those that have recorded losses, because we have seen, you know, a record of that significantly in the aviation industry. But I'm wondering what you're seeing on ground in terms of the losses that might have been experienced as a result of how long this has dragged, dragged on for? Yes, I may not be able to put exact figure or statistics to it, but I saw with my eyes that, um, you know, I visited places like uh, Ladipo, uh, Spare Part Market, I visited Osho the Market, I visited the Computer Village uh, where they sell ICT products. And for those two days, businesses, you know, were never the same in those two days. I may not be able to put a figure to it, but I know that, you know, multiple of millions of Naira must have been lost, you know, in, in the process. But today, those businesses are beginning to come back to life and activities are, you know, are catching up gradually in those markets and in several other places across Lagos. Nobody was sure where the election was going, who or which of the candidate or party the result will favor and nobody was too sure of what will happen in the aftermath of the announcement of the result and that is why generally they applied caution in going about their regular activities uh, for the day even traffic you know lagos is the home of traffic even traffic was on holiday for those two days because people were very very cautious in doing whatever they want to do because they were not sure what the aftermath will be. Of course, we had people spreading rumors of attacks or violence, you know, be, you know, that some people are planning violence and they are planning attacks on particular uh, people of a particular ethnic group. But that has come out to be uh, false information as the case may be right now. Lagos is peaceful. Lagos is back to life and everything, you know, is going on like it used to be before the election. So let's wait for the time that the president-elect will be issued a certificate of return when the people will come out, you know, to celebrate and throw the carnival, throw up carnival all across Lagos. Until then, everybody's just warming up. You can see this is through Larry, you know, and uh, you can see people are just going about their activities. So they are waiting for three o'clock when 
the certificate of return will be issued, and then maybe that time the carnival will go into full throttle. We also, you know, saw people who had, you know, groups who had bought cow. You know, they have bought cattle, and um, they are warming up to slaughter those cows for the celebration later on today. So let's keep our fingers crossed and see what happens after the issuance of the certificate of return. All right, Oba, thank you for that. Now, very quickly before you go, I know you've already said that it's calm, uh, it's peaceful, people are going about their business, and many are planning for uh, huge celebrations a little bit later in the day. Uh, but there have been concerns about tension brewing. Of course, uh, the governorship election is just around the corner, and Lagos is going to be hotly contested. Any sense of, uh, of anxiety or tension uh, with regards to that, or, every, or is everybody just focusing on the presidential result that has just come out? For now, the focus is on the presidential election victory. And, um, you know, uh, the atmosphere in town uh, does not indicate if anybody is really worried about the governorship election that is, you know, some days away from today. They are focused on celebrating this big victory, that is the presidential election victory, by the APC candidate. Of course, you know that political leaders will be strategizing back at the, you know, at the background for the governorship election. But the atmosphere in town does not indicate if anybody is really worried too much about the governorship election. I think uh, the situation is one step at a time. They are still celebrating the victory of Bola Ahmed Tinobu, the president-elect of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And maybe afterwards, attention will now shift to the governorship election. Right now, one would have expected that the campaign for the governorship election will have resumed. But in town, apart from the posters, apart from banners, apart from you know those things that have always been there, there is nothing indicative of the fact that campaign proper has resumed for the governorship election. People of Lagos are waiting for the issuance of the certificate of return before they begin celebration. So the focus right now is on celebrating the uh, victory of Bola Ahmed Tinobu at the presidential election. Thank you so much, Abadeo. You. you know, when those cows are slaughtered, please make sure you get your own portion. But thank you so much for bringing us up to speed regarding the situation report in Lagos. Glad to know everything is peaceful. Thank you so much, our ICE correspondent, Obadeoye.